Hello everyone, and good morning. It's 8 a.m. June the 24th, 2008, and I hope uh, that everyone has recovered from our wonderful gathering Saturday in Indianapolis. What a wonderful day that was. I tell you, that's, we're never, Kat and I had so much fun with uh, all of our great coach friends. It was just amazing. I went for years and years without even meeting a Colt fan around here. And now i got many, many, many wonderful Colts fans, and we're just having a blast. But uh, the day started out, we pulled up the Children's Museum, and lo and behold, the Brown family was getting out. Lou, Lou was letting them out of the parking lot. Seen uh, Janelle, Colts 92, Kathy, Colts girl, K4. Sherry, see my tattoo, and Ricky, that's the brown uh, girl, and Ricky, their son, what, what a great young man he is. Uh, and then uh, uh, Ann, Paymore 18, that's uh, Janelle's, uh, her best friend for life. And uh, Lou, J.S. Tolu, 55, of course he had, he was their, their chauffeur, and uh, I'll tell you what, what a great crew that is. It's just unbelievable. And we went down and uh, seen Bucky Rex. And here comes Colts 12th man Bill with his family, part of his family. What a wonderful thrill that was to meet them. What great people they are. Um, so we had a great time. Our Bucky Rex is like a superstar there at the museum. The children there just love the, the man. And uh, he signed autographs and all the books, uh, his own uh, the book they had written about him. And uh, so he was busy, busy, busy. And he did take time out to give us a few little tours and uh, give us some classes on the dinosaurs. Of course, you know, I, I thought he had wrote the thing and broke it, you know, like he does those horses. And I, I think he was trying to take a little credit for that. But... Uh, I think somebody called him a farmer, and uh, he said, "Oh, don't call it, don't call ranchers no farmers." Then, then later that night, he ended up calling me a hillbilly. Well, what's up with that? <laughs> Anyhow, now after we get done with that, which was wonderful, that children's museum, you spend all day in there, and probably not see everything. When Pudge gets a little older, and my other grandkids get a little older, uh, we're going to take them all up there. It's just a wonderful place. And uh, Bucky's a real superstar up there, believe me. Uh, of course, you all know that. Then they, uh, we didn't go over to the Blues Bar, which I, not the Blues Bar, the Blue Crew uh, Bar, or Grill, uh, which I'm still kicking myself for. We went straight to sports uh, for uh, 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 Tammy's birthday. And that's Colts fan Tam's birthday party was over sports, but but uh, they got over there and and, uh, and uh, Chaz showed up. I miss Chaz over there. Me and Cat are still kicking ourselves not going over. And old Bo Jangles called in and bought them all of the first round of drinks over there, and just uh, it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, way to go, Bo! Uh, I swear you got to be a Colt. Um, well, we missed him and uh, missed Chaz. Uh, then uh, everybody started uh, getting into uh, Over the Stars, and uh, we'd been there a little while. And uh, um, let's see who came in first: uh, Blonde Cam, Cameron, and John. Oh, I wanted to mention too. Oh, we got to meet. Uh, John's grandson, Maddox, what a nice little young kid he is, over at the Children's Museum. And they took him home. But then uh, uh, John and, Ta and uh, Cameron got there. And then uh, they were setting up the table for uh, Colts Fan Tam for her birthday. What a wonderful, wonderful table that was with uh, all the people there. And uh, uh, let's see... Uh, Tammy, 1970, and Grant come in. Didn't recognize, hardly recognize Grant without his face paint. But uh, we had a good time there. And uh, there was uh, Lubbock, Clove 700, 
Candy Canderson 55, Les True Blue 537, Jer B Master Jerry, Jerry and his wife Stephanie. What nice people. Jerry ended up, he, me and Jerry won a pool game. We beat, uh, I think Grant and somebody over in a pool game. I think we slopped out and won one. Uh, and uh, we got to uh, talk to Colt Seven, uh, Kenny. And, uh, of course, we was outside at that time, and it was kind of noisy. See, he didn't hear us very good, but uh, we did get to talk to him. And, well, I'll tell you what, we just, uh, we had a wonderful time. There's a lot of talent in that group. Janelle, the ringleader, of course, and her son, Ricky, he's a real uh, singer. And uh, it was just fun. And uh, um, uh, we met uh, Michael B. and Coy there. And they done a lot of uh, karaoke singing. And Coy gave uh, uh, Coach Fan Tam Tammy a birthday lap dance. And be darned if he didn't come over and give uh, my wife Cat one. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they liked it. So anyway, they're all my videos. So uh, I, I, hope I, I hope I mentioned everybody. And uh, I'm telling you all from the heart. We had a wonderful time. I can't wait to get to do it again. Uh, and I uh, hope it's soon. And uh, I want to thank everybody for sending uh, my little pudgy boy. His birthday will be two years old, the 26th. I want to thank everybody for sending him birthday wishes. And you're all just about the greatest people in the world. I'll tell you what. It's just the, it's amazing. It's amazing. And we had such a good time. And I hope I didn't leave anything out. This this video can't last forever, but boy, I could I could sure keep going to tell quite a few stories of what happened over at Sports Bar. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> needless to say, uh, uh, the uh, the party was uh, the rocking on. I think we got home about 2:30 a.m., which is not bad. There wasn't any traffic and. It didn't take any time to get from Indy to New Albany. About an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. It's no big deal anymore. But just want to thank everybody for just being who you are. And we love you so much. And just remember one thing. Let's go, Colts. <laughs>